Hello, this is Damon Phoenix with a Witcher 3 build video. This is another one of the hybrid builds, but we're getting a little bit mad scientist this time and trying something a little different. So I wanted to see if you could base the build around one of the different mutations that are very rarely used. None of the mutations are as good as Euphoria, it's just far too OP. Uh, but I thought I'd try something a little bit different. So this is using the full Ursine set, including the swords. And this is actually a sign build, but using the Ursine set, so it's a little bit different. So it's got the bonus of 200% damage that Quen gets from having all of the Ursine pieces in one set. So the way that we're going to use this is we're going to make Quen do the damage for us and it be a signed build that uses the adrenaline instead of focusing on using the signs with the euphoria. So we have rage management uh, from the general skill tree and we have uh, the first three strong attack skills so that we can use rend on things that are particularly resistant to sign damage and also raise a focus to increase the amount of uh, adrenaline that we get. We've also got focus so that um, we get increased intensity and adrenaline actually increases the uh, sign intensity as well. And we've got a couple of really important general skills. So we've got adrenaline burst, which means that using signs now generates adrenaline points. And also we've got a very underrated uh, skill, which is the skill called metabolism boosts. Now the thing about metabolism boosts uh, is it lets you use uh, a lot of potions based on your adrenaline but it doesn't quite work like it's supposed to yeah, so I'll show, explain how that is in a minute we've also got Ard Sweet but you can swap that for the Igni Intensity if you want and we have all of the Quen skills so a lot of the points go into the Quen skills which means that it does 25% of damage reflected back to the attacker we also have Exploding Shield which knocks people back and we have increased Sign, in Quen sign Intensity by 25% and we also have active shield so that we can uh, use active shield to actually get health back when we're being hurt as well so the way that the build works is it uses adrenaline um, but the, it's more focused around the skill metabolism boost like i say so metabolism boost uh, means that when your uh, adrenaline is increased it reduces the amount of toxicity it takes so one adrenaline point reduces the amount um, of toxicity that a potion takes to use so one adrenaline point is 33% two adrenaline points is 66% and three adrenaline points is actually 100% because it rounds it up so that means you can use potions for absolutely nothing so you can see there that uh, out of combat we've got about 155% sign intensity which is nothing major but we don't have the boost from the griffin so it's not too bad now the way this works is that you have adrenaline burst which you can use signs even outside of battle uh, and when you're using the signs it will create adrenaline so you can see here that using a different combination of signs uh, using active shield using add sweep you can cast the signs and that builds adrenaline and then when the adrenaline is full you've got three adrenaline points and you can actually use potions for absolutely nothing because metabolism boost means that it reduces the toxicity cost uh, of the potion by 100% so it takes literally it costs literally nothing to be able to use the potion and this is really interesting because when you actually get into combat and you have full adrenaline uh, you can use all of the potions at once because they're all reduced by 100% so none of them increase your toxicity so you can see here that I've used uh, Razor Focus has given me an adrenaline point and then Superior Maribo has been used and gives me another adrenaline point and the toxicity gradually goes down from that and it gets to a point where I can use every single potion here because I've got three adrenaline points and I can use them all at once and that means that I can actually use a decoction at the same time as all of the potions without having to put 20 points into the alchemy tree or anything like that so you can use it purely with a common combat signs build so for this one I'm going to use the Ancient Lesson Decoction because that helps counteract the um, low stamina regen that the Ursain Armor has. So it works out pretty well because every time you use Active Shield that is one of the signs that actually does work with Ancient Lesson Decoction and it's the same with the uh, Ard Sweep. So whenever you use Ard Sweep or you use Active Shield it'll increase your stamina regeneration for the remainder of the fight. So as long as your uh, adrenaline stays at 3 uh, three adrenaline points you can use the potions whenever you want so you can just use literally any of them whenever they run out so it means that you get to use thunderbolt you get another 25 percent sign intensity from using the superior petri filter and everything like that and then when you're actually fighting as you can see here uh, the sign intensity is quite a bit higher now because we've got the uh, boost uh, from having the adrenaline points increasing your sign intensity 
And you can use our sweep and igni and most of the time you'll actually just be using Quen to knock people back and do a ton of damage. It's quite funny to see the enemies go flying all over the place. Uh, fighting multiple human enemies with this build is actually one of the tougher tougher fights that you can have. Um, most of the time you're actually just fighting things one on one or you've just got a couple of enemies. So you'll be able to take them on quite easily. But this is just showing how you go about some of the more difficult fights. So you keep Quen up. You can gradually increase your stamina regeneration as you go and you can use active shield to get health back and every time you do that it's increasing your stamina regeneration. So it's not meant to be a serious build, it's not as uh, good as any Euphoria builds, it's not as good as the Piercing Cold builds. I just thought I'd try something a little bit different and uh, I wanted to show how the Metabolism Boost skill works because it's very underrated and it's quite fun. Um, if Metabolism Boost worked as I would like it to work, as the actual description is, and consume the adrenaline, um, but it let you cast the um, potions with actual zero toxicity it would probably be the best skill in the game so it's probably just as well it's a little bit bugged because it would be ridiculous you can also use this with piercing cold if you don't feel like trying conductors of magic that will reduce the damage from Quen quite a lot um, but for the earlier periods of new game plus where uh, piercing cold is still effective you could switch between the two and uh, also you can use it, like I say, with the balance enchantment and griffin school techniques if you wanted as well. So one quick thing here is this is a version of it using the glitch to get the extra skill. And you can see I've got acquired tolerance in the extra extra skill slot in the strength and synapses slot. Even though you normally can't put green skills there with conductors of magic. Now this is really good because it lets you use three decoctions and then use the potion trick on top of it with metabolism boosts. Uh, so then instead of just having the ancient lesson decoction you can also have the echidna decoction or the echimara decoction. Uh, or any decoctions that you want to use. The Forktail one is a really good one with a um, mixed build as well because when you mix up uh, bombs, crossbows, fast, strong attacks or signs it gives a boost after using any three of those in quick succession. So it's quite an interesting little thing and I just wanted to uh, show it off and show how it works um, because as you can see here this is with the three decoctions and then Metabolism Boost is still going to let you do uh, as many potions as you want and lets you use all of those together. So as you can see fighting uh, normal sets of enemies where there's only a couple uh, it really is quite a bit easier especially when you're fighting monsters instead of humans because the um, even without protective coating and the aircast decoction the protection from no sign just means that uh, you take virtually no damage. So even though Quen's not going to be doing loads of damage to those type of enemies you're not going to be taking any anyway and you can just kill them with active shield and with Igni. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed that, something a little bit different, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you, bye bye.